So Paul, since we are on this vein of slow cooking today, um, let's do some sous vide cooking. If anything takes time, it's sous vide cooking. So one of the most amazing features of many combi steam ovens is the ability to cook foods using the sous vide mode. Sous vide definitely takes time and planning is crucial, but there are so many benefits to using very low temperatures for cooking. Flavors are enhanced, there's greater nutrient retention, less salt and fat are needed, and consistent results are easy to achieve. Important things to take into account though, keep conditions very sanitary to avoid contamination. Seal your sous vide bags on the tightest seal. Once the food is sealed in the bag, it should be cooked within 24 hours. But once cooked and properly cooled, foods in the, cooked in this method can be frozen or refrigerated, but should be quickly cooled down. So refrigerators with a quick chill and freezers with a quick freeze function are ideal for this process. Also, when you're cooking uh, two items, make sure that they sit flat in the tray and ideally cook them on separate trays. So Paul, what are, what are we cooking up sous vide today? We are cooking sous vide salmon and shrimp. So these are fairly quick cooking foods anyway, so what's the benefit of cooking them sous vide? Now one of the benefits that's really great for cooking them sous vide is that because something like fish for example tends to dry out very very easily, cooking it in sous vide will allow you to get the right temperature and doneness and not overcook it. Okay. What about shrimp? I mean, why would you, shrimp usually cook in two to four minutes, so. Have you ever overcooked your shrimp? You mean like rubbery? Rubbery <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> okay, I get it. So basically, sous vide is all about texture. So Paul, once the salmon's been cooked sous vide, what if I want that kind of nice sizzly crust on it? So there's a couple of ways to do it. You can actually either take the salmon and um, sear it on a cooktop, or in our case, what we're gonna do is to make it more of a meal, we're actually gonna put it in a broiler and broil it with asparagus. And so if I want some other kind of vegetable that's cooked sous vide, how would I do that? I, if you're gonna cook sous vide vegetables, the best thing is to actually cook it ahead of time because vegetables tend to be a little bit more fussy with the temperatures than um, fish or seafood would be. So for example, we did these potatoes that we already pre-cooked in sous vide. All right, so then how are we gonna finish those? So we can, we're actually gonna do is we're gonna roast them in the oven, high heat, uh, okay. and then we'll serve them alongside the shrimp and salmon. So definitely in terms of um, convenience, it does take planning, but you can imagine if the potatoes were done a day in advance and then you wanna just do the sous vide for 30 minutes for the salmon, um, a little high heat for both at the end with some fresh vegetables, you can really pull off a gourmet meal very easily. So remember the tips and keep the temperatures low, do your planning, and I think your sous vide will be absolutely delicious. Very good.